and what's up everybody welcome back to another video um, today's video I went to the salvage yard today and uh, if you guys saw my last video you guys saw where I got this steering wheel shift and I grabbed another multifunction switch off of 94 and when I was changing it out one that day the connections in the back of one of the harnesses didn't have the proper fitment or the connection so I wasn't able to use that 94 multifunction switch so I searched my salvage yard they didn't have any 90 do 95 7 town cars there so I was like well you know that's okay I started thinking well what other cars have the same panther body you know what other cars share the same parts of each other so then it hit me Grand Marquises Crown Victorias so I went back and I searched online I typed in 1996 Great Mercury Grand Marquises and I got two results hit back. The other, there's about, maybe about 10 more of the cars, eight more of the cars, but they were in the late 90s, in the upper thousands. So those were no good to me. So the 296s, I grabbed, um, I did grab both of them and I grabbed the correct multifunction switch. If you look at this harness right here, this is the exact same style harness that's my car has right now on the 94 let me see on the 94 this piece right here it was it wasn't there it was just a straight line so i couldn't connect this is off of a 96 mercury grand marquis and like I said, the Ford Crown Victorias and the Lincoln Town Cars and the Continentals, they all share this exact same multifunction switch. And as you can see, I have this cutout right here with this extra pin. I have this piece that will now be compatible with mine to the car's harness. So this will be a great addition along with my chrome shifter. But I didn't stop there, you know. I didn't forget about my tilt lever. And I looked for any kind of mid to late 80s Cadillac. I came across two. One was the 84 Seville. The column was gone. So I struck out on that car. Then I came across the 86 Deville. Coupe Deville, I should say. And I was able to pick up this little guy right here. This is gonna go great on my column for the tilt lever. So instead of the stock factory black one, which again is dull and boring, I'm gonna put this in. And it screws in just fine. I'll screw it in right now and I'll show you guys. It's on. See that? No, it works just fine. The screws on just fine. So when I change this guy out right here for that chrome look, oh man, it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look real nice. It's gonna look real matching. So if you guys want to change this out, any 95 through 97 Crown Victoria, Grand Marquis, and uh, Lincoln Town Cars, Continentals, you can use it. But I want you guys to be aware, not all 97s have the Chrome uh, stock right here. They're just like this, where they're all black. So some 97s have the Chrome stock, and some 97s don't. So keep that in mind, too. 
And then this right here, I got it off of 86 DeVille. You know, so if you guys like this idea right here, next time you go to your salvage yard, look for 86 DeVille, Fleetwood, Brome. You know, it could be up to 88 or 89, I believe. And just take it off and it screws right into your, it screws right in, no problems. But I'm going to end this video, guys, and I want to show you, you know, my update. I was pretty disappointed in the last video because I couldn't change this out. I, unfortunately, it was my fault because I grabbed the wrong multifunction switch um, off the wrong gear. But uh, I'm going to make it work this time. And then uh, I'll be back and I'll show you guys everything and hopefully it works. You know, as you can see, this one, you know, kind of faded the lines and the number, the lettering. That's a small little fade to it. But, um, man, this multifunction switch looks brand new. And the card that I grabbed this off of, it was only there... I believe it got there on the 5th of this month. So January 5th is when that car got there. So it hasn't been there that long. The interior was in great, nice condition. Great cloth. So I don't know what happened with that car, but as you can see, it has a great condition part. It's going to look good. It's going to look real nice. So I'm going to end this video right here, guys. I'm going to get to work, and then I'll be back. Stay tuned.